हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डाटा साइंस लवर्स इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट वी स्टैक एंड एच स्टैक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट एरे इंडेक्सिंग इन नंपाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज इंडेक्सिंग इंडेक्सिंग इज यूज टू ऑप्टेन द पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट और रो और कॉलम फ्रॉम द नंपाई एरेज वी कैन ऑप्टेन मोर देन वन एलिमेंट और रो और कॉलम इन द नंपाई एरे or you can say numpy arrays here we pass the index of the element to x axis the index starts from 0 not from 1 and the last point you have to notice is it returns element till our stop index minus 1 okay these four points will be clear when we will do some example here first of all we will import the numpy library in this jupyter notebook and as you know the syntax is import numpy as np running this the library has been successfully imported now we will talk about indexing in 1d array 2d array and at last in 3d array before moving ahead we should talk about indexes suppose i have a simple 1d array this is my 1d array which is containing five elements in this now as per our third point the index starts from 0 so this first element 1 is present at our index number 0 this second element at index number 1 and so on this fifth element 58 is present at our index number 4 so for these five elements in this 1d array we have indexes 0 to 4 these are indexes of this 1d array let's do some exercise we have a simple 1d array in this array we have five elements from index 0 to 4 when i want to obtain this element 1 which is present at my index 0 i can simply write my array variable name a this square brackets and my index number 0 when we have to obtain only one element from the array then the start index becomes automatically equal to our stop index so we have to pass only one index value here if we run this it will give the output 1 means at index number 0 1 is present if we check at index number 3 then it is showing 46 as we can see here at index number 3 we have 46 when i write nothing as my start index colon and nothing as my stop index then it will show all the elements present in the array like this okay to get all the elements of the array we have one more way we have we can put start index as 0 the colon and we can leave blank as our stop index so our elements will start from index number 0 and it will show the elements till the end and the output will be our all elements of the array suppose i write start index as 2 and colon and nothing at our stop index then in the output it will give the elements from the second index 0 1 2 2. it will give the elements from 34 46 and 58 okay when i run this it will give the output 34 46 and 58 Now, in case if we don't pass the start index and we pass only the stop index, here start index is blank and we pass stop index as one. When I pass one here and run this, it will give the output one. One means the element which is present at our zeroth index. Here, if we see our point number four, it returns element till stop index minus one. Here we have passed stop index as one. Then it will return the element till our zeroth index because one minus one, one minus one, zero equal to zero. So it will return the element till zeroth index only. And at zeroth index we have what? We have one. Okay, so it is returning one here. Now if I pass nothing at start index and when I pass stop index as five. so as per your <clears throat> understanding what will be the output so if we see here the output will be from index number 0 till index number 
because as per our fourth point we have in an index 5 and one index less here minus 1 then it will show the output till index number 4 only if we run this this is the output if i pass stop index as 4 then it will return the elements till index number 3 only till 46 46 and it's present at my index number 3 I am printing our array again here for our reference. Suppose I want to extract this element 22 from this array. Then I can use slicing here. I have to pass my start index as 1. 22 is present at my first index, the colon. And we have to pass stop index 1 greater. Okay. So we have to pass index number 2 here. When I run this, it will give the output 22. Similarly, when I want the output 34 and 46, so we have to start from this 0, 1, 2, from second index, colon, this top index, this top index should be 1 greater, so 0, 1, 2, 3, we want elements till third index, so we have to pass 4 here, then it will show element till third index only, so this is the indexing in 1d array you have to remember these points here let's move to indexing in a 2d array suppose we have a simple 2d array p in our first row we have four elements 11 12 13 14 and in our second row we have also four elements 15 16 17 18 here this first row is present at our index number 0 and this second row is present at our index number 1 okay and this column is present at our index number 0 this column is present at index number 1 index number 2 and index number 3 okay this is the format for our reference about indexing in 2d array here first we have to give the row indexing and then we have to give the column indexing we will do some example here suppose we have a simple 2d array this array b is our simple 2d array having two rows and four columns here as i explained you this first row is our index number 0 and the second row is at index number 1 similarly this is our column index number 0 column index 1 2 and 3 okay now when i want to extract this row first our array name and in this square brackets i can simply pass 0 here and the output will be 11 12 13 14 means our first row which is present at our first sorry at our zeroth index if i give index here 1 then it will give us this second row because it is present at our first index of this 2d array now when I give B start index as nothing, colon stop index as nothing, then it will show all the elements of this 2D array. If I want to extract this element 12 from this array, then what can I do? Our array variable name, the square brackets as per our format, first we have to give the row indexing. This element 12 is present at our 0th index of the row. So I can simply pass 0 here, comma, we have to give the column indexing and this is our column number, column index number 1. So we have to extract from here, I have to pass 1 and here in column indexing, I have to give the end index. I will pass 2 here because it will give the output till only first index, okay, 1 index less than our stop index. When I run this, it will give the output 12. Suppose I want to get the output 17 here. Then you can try this. B square brackets. Our row index. This is present in our index number 1 of the row. Comma. Our column index. And it is present at our 0, 1, 2. Okay. Second index. And I will pass here the end index as 3. It will give the output as 17. Here we can also do some boolean indexing. Suppose we want to extract all the elements where the value is greater than 14. So 
b and inside this square brackets we have to give the condition from b we have to extract all the elements that are greater than 14 when i run this it will give only those elements which are greater than 14 similarly we can extract the elements that are less than we can say 16 okay it will give the output like this 11 to 15 so that's how we can do indexing in our 2d array based on row indexing and column indexing now we will do indexing in the 3d array suppose we have a 3d array c in this 3d array we have two matrix this is our first matrix which is present at index number 0 and this is our second matrix which is present at our index number 1 and in each matrix there are three rows and three columns this row is present at index number 0 of this matrix this is present at index number 1 and it is present at index number 2 similarly this column is present at index number 0 of this second matrix at index number 1 index number 2 of this second matrix this is the format for our reference about indexing in 3d array first we have to pass the matrix indexing then row indexing and then column indexing suppose we have a simple 3d array c this is 3d array c which is having two matrix and in each matrix there are three rows and three columns now when i use index 0 here as you all know it will show matrix first here like this and when i use index 1 here on this 3d array then it will show the second matrix because it is present at our first index and as you all know when i pass start index nothing and also stop index nothing if i pass only colons then it will show all the elements present in this 3d array okay now if i want to extract these elements 14 15 16 17 18 19 okay i want to extract these three elements so how can i do as per our format first of all we have to pass the matrix indexing and our 3d array variable c the square brackets these elements 14 to 19 are present in our matrix first which is present at index 0 so i will pass index here 0 comma then we have to pass row indexing this row 14 15 16 this row number second is present at our index number first so i will pass here row index as 1 start index 1 and stop index i will pass 3 here because i want these two rows so as the last row is present at index number 2 so i have to pass one index greater than our actual index so i will pass 3 here then we have to pass the columns indexing as we will need all three columns so i can simply pass a colon here it will consider all the columns when i run this it will give our output 14 15 16 17 18 19 when you try this example by yourself you can easily understand this so now suppose i want these elements 21 22 24 25 and 27 28 so i am doing here no i am doing here only our array 3c here first of all we have to pass our matrix index this these elements are present in our second matrix which is present at our index number one this is our indexing for matrix comma we have to pass the indexes for rows as we need all three rows of this matrix which are present at index 0 index 1 and index 2 so i can simply pass colon here because it will consider all the rows present in the matrix and as i want only the last two columns so i will pass start index as 1 and colon my stop index will be 3 here in this case because i want the elements of the column till index number 2 so i will pass 3 here when i run this it will give the output as per our requirement 21 22 24 and 25 27 28 okay now in case 
I want to extract only this element 24. Okay, what we can do for this? I can simply write one interesting indexing one comma one comma one. Okay, when I run this, it will extract the element 24. Why? Because it is considering first the matrix which is present at index number one. At index number one, we have this matrix. Then it will consider the row indexing, the one we have passed here. Then it will consider the this row which is present at our index number one. And at last, it will consider the column indexing. We have also passed one here. And in this matrix, this is our column which is present at index number one. And in this column, it will select 24 and it is showing 24 in the output. So this is indexing in our 3D array. Okay. If you want to learn NumPy, then you can watch our NumPy playlist tutorials. Here we have many tutorials for you. So that's all for this video. More advanced features of indexing will be covered in our another playlist of the course, which is advanced data analysis with Python. And in next video, we will cover our last topic of this playlist, any and all functions in NumPy library. If you want to gain more data analysis skills, then you can get our notes on data analysis, which is including core Python, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and SQL. The link is given in the description of this video. Thank you friends. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe.